What's going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was an arranged matchup versus Reddit Templar. Um, kind of like the Reddit, I don't know exactly how it works. They have a obviously a large family of clans uh, that they pull people from for weights or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's Reddit Beta uh, versus one hive Invicta. Invicta comes away with a very large margin actually. It was kind of surprising. Um, but really good job by Invicta on their base designs, I guess. I mean, you take check it out. They did get the three star on ride round there. Uh, had no problems getting the twos on those tens. Uh, but as you can see, they just kind of ran out of attacks. They missed lots of the nines. So uh, great work, uh, Invicta. Nice base building. Uh, fantastic job. Keep it up. And you can see Invicta cleared up two stars on everything. Um, that's a town hall nine there, right? So missed that this one here and missed another one down the way too. Yeah. So two bases missed by, oh, three bases. My bad. Uh, so a few nines there, um, obviously, so a uh, little work to do, but they had really nice base designs as well. Um, was a really fun war overall. Uh, really nice to see Invicta just come out swinging real hard and uh, get the victory here. So uh, congrats, boys. Uh, just going to jump right into, and girls, I guess I should say. I'm just going to jump right into some of these replays. Some uh, I got a bit of a lengthy recap. There's lots of attacks I want to show in here because it was uh, it was a really nice war for Invicta. So uh, want to do it justice. Start this up with Robbie. I always like showing these kind of hybrid Go Valos. Um, we all know the old like the 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 Go Valo strat versus. Uh, poorly set up kind of form base or whatever a base that has a core with all four air defenses in it or you know they're all accessible and you just kind of send in a bunch of Valks, keep them healed, kill all the air defense and send in your balloons and it's GG. Well obviously anti three stars it's not so easy so uh, Rob's going to show us how it's done here. It's got this shattered entry going in from 12 o'clock. Zoom that out sorry. Uh, 12 o'clock section, uh, gonna get taken out. Jump spell goes down, gonna let everything into this kind of long compartment. And I'm gonna drop another jump spell, um, kind of down over the clan castle almost, let everything into the queen once uh, takes care of these CC troops. Has no poison, or sorry, it does have a poison there, but uh, so many, right? Got that witch kind of wizard old school CC comp in there, which is sort of viable, but uh, it all it does is force the attacker to bring a poison, uh, and everything is now dead, especially with the Valkyries in there, just kind of shredding all those units in one swipe. Uh, everything's locking on that defensive queen now. He even sends in a kind of backside balloon to help out his queen here doing some work. Uh, gonna take out that archer tower. Has these two air defenses up underneath this. Uh, Tesla trap, so that is a bit of a concern. Uh, the golem sitting there trying to work on that air defense. I don't think it actually gets it or does it. Maybe this last golem might burst and gets it. Oh, so close. But you know, you spit on that air defense, it's down. He's slowly kind of deploying some loons, kind of helping take this stuff out to keep his heroes alive, which I thought was great. And he's, keep in mind, he's only got one Lava Hound for two air defenses that are covered still by three Teslas and two Archer Towers, three Archer Towers. So he's got to be very, very careful. See the air defense already locking onto these balloons, um, but really delaying that Lava Hound. He wants all his heroes, he wants his Golem in there doing some tanking off of those Teslas. Once the Tesla locks on, he's now going to send in this last Lava Hound. Da, 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 any second now, I swear to God. Oh, maybe he's waiting for his queen to kind of come up and around. She's still doing work. But that queen is eventually going to take out these buildings, walk straight on over, and finish off that air defense that has a sneeze of a hit on it left. Um, there goes the Lava Hound, finally. Uh, that Golem gets in there, does a little more tanking for the Teslas, too. So that is key. Um, all the balloons go in. Haste goes down. Gonna throw everything right on top of that stuff. See that queen step up and help things out. Lava Hound gets burst at the exact perfect moment here. And balloons are going to finish those Teslas off. See you later. Kablam. This base is definitely GG. Nice breakdown, Rob. I love seeing kind of... Uh, Cool, cool attacks with uh, uh, very strange troop comps. You can tell you really just judged everything that you needed for that one. So three stars in the bag. <clears throat> Number 30 I got next. Good old T-Blop. That, uh, that <laughs> T-Lop. <laughs> That's what caught my eye. <laughs> the T-Blop link goes uh, goes around in lounge chat quite a bit. If you haven't checked out T-Blop.com, please don't. 
<laughs> Ryan the Great. Ryan's a uh, newer member to Invicta. Um, has really been uh, stepping it up, though. I like this attack. Why? Because you know me and my old school love for old school attacks. What is this? This is a Shattered Goho straight up. Uh, two Witches would be the only kind of thing that's different. But even back, we're talking going further back with the old school. Shattered Goho, eh, Goho's always had Witches because you had to lure the CC and use Witches and your Queen to kill the CC. Um, so anyways, two Golems in. Witches are down. Skelly's going in. King's going in. Defensive Queen's getting smacked down right now. See you later. <clears throat> everything's going to continue to move on through this queen chamber, take everything out. He's got one jump that's going to kind of let everything in uh, to the core. 27 hogs he's going to bring in here with three heals. That's the other thing I liked here. Um, again, just straight up troop placement. You got heals for that uh, wizard tower farm. You got heals for that talk compartment. You got heal for this compartment. So all the hogs are now going in. First heal is going down, maybe a little off on that heal, trying to get those hogs, because he does lose one hog. If he had just adjusted it slightly, he would have saved it. But no big deal. He's got 27 of them, remember. So sprinkling them in surgically here, just few at a time on all these kind of defenses. Got this uh, wizard tower chamber to worry about, but the heal is going to take care of them. No problem there. The skeletons are out. It doesn't have poison for it, but no big deal. Finally, that lava hound bursts over there. Uh, wizards are trying frantically to clean it up, but I don't think they end up surviving. Um... So these pups take out quite a bit. Lots of them are locked onto that goal though, which is nice. Um, so really, they're not that pup, the pups are not doing that much damage. So see, oh, just a little early on that heal. Uh, lost a few of those bombs, but there's only one defense remaining by the time they get there. So it's clearly GG for this base. Queen's around the edge doing cleanup. That is a sexy tree star in the bag for Ryan the Great. Love these old school attacks. Shatter Gohos, Shatter Lalos on anti three stars. Because they're specifically, at least when people are setting up these anti three stars, that's the general idea of where the name anti three star came from. It's to prevent those attacks. Because those Shattered Goho, Shattered Lalo are pretty much, you know, the foreign base killers, in my opinion. Because most of those bases can be broken down with a centralized queen. You can take care of the bomb spots. You can usually take care of two air defense. Um, right? So these bases are specifically set up to prevent these style of attacks. But guys can still manage to find ways to fit them in. And when they do, they are getting some air time. Because I love them. <clears throat> um, 26. Do work. Sun is doing work. Son, uh, I'm such a loser. So brings a very standard uh, queen uh, queen walk with uh, like a queen govaho. Going to get a big, large section of this base. Forces the queen down uh, into this area, uh, which in turn is going to get basically all. Of, oh no, that's right. This the reason I want to show this attack. Watch what happens here. She's going to take out the lab. The Archer Tower, I believe then the cannon, not the cannon. She sees the mortar and hikes it back up and goes to the mortar and then joins the kill squad. This is the most random thing. I'm assuming he wanted to walk down here and get up in this nook and take care of that defensive queen. Um, but it really ends up working out just splendidly for him here. Uh, jump goes down. King is in, right? The goal, uh, the healers kind of help the golem stay alive for that much longer. Double poisons down. Take care of that very, very, very uh, light CC troop comp. Um, you know, but the Valkyries are in there and they're running around, going to be doing some more. Heal goes down. Uh, now, unfortunately, at this point was kind of where the raid goes to funk because the queen was supposed to be dead from the walk. But... The jump spell goes down, letting everything... I, I'm at least assuming. I'm not sure because it looked like he was trying to funnel that off and have the queen go down. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to him and figure out if that was actually what he meant to do. Uh, but the jump spell kind of goes down, right? Let's let's all the Valks in. Let's everything in. Uh, I think there is a DGB right here. Is there a bomb there? Yep, there's a bomb. Oh, makes a little bit of bacon there. So what I was get, what I was thinking is the queen walk was probably supposed to go down to six o'clock, take care of the queen. Then his jump spell was going to go over this intersection, which was going to defuse three bombs, if not four bombs, maybe uh, at the same time there. So that probably is what his plan was, but it manages to just hang on by the skin of his teeth here. There is one cannon left up over here. It'd be really sweet if those hogs or the healers went over the hogs, but they don't. 
Last cannon is about to go down. There's a minion over there that's going to finish it off, actually, um, while the uh, Valks and everything else are doing cleanup on this other side. You're going to fast forward this one. Hanging on by the skin of your teeth. I'm going to find out exactly what your plan was, but that was my guess. That would totally be my guess. You meant to have your queen go right into this nook. Would have targeted that defensive queen. Vox, we're going to just kind of go over the top section of this base, take care of those bombs. You're going to hog the rest. But tree stars in the bag for my man, DWS. Nice job, man. Uh, that was 26. 19. Mick Gravy. Bringing the heat lately for Gravy. So, very good earthquake placement was the first thing I noticed about this. Um, does not get that corner wall, but he doesn't need it, right? He just kind of opens everything up that he needs here. Zoom this out. <clears throat> uh, oh, why did I do that? So, I love the two giants on either side to give the wizards time to uh, create that funnel, right? Two giants, two wizards, two giants, two wizards. Uh, even drops a Valk up there. I don't know if it's just to do that. A little bit of extra tanking. Um, gets the CC troops pulled out, which it happens to be a P.E.K.K.A. and a Valkyrie, or just, no, can't fit a Valkyrie. <laughs> a P.E.K.K.A. and a bunch of archers, um, which kind of comes around behind the queen. So that looked a little scary for a moment. If it had locked on the queen, that would have been bad news. Does get a shot off on the king, so he's got to rage up the king right away. But that's okay, because this king's going to wander all the way in and down. He does have a bunch of Valkyries in there. They're going exactly the place that he wants them to. And to finish off those skellies, heal goes down to help take care of everything in there. Locking onto that defensive queen. A few shots from those Valkyries, and she is toast. The king goes for a bit of a hike at the top side of the base, but it doesn't matter. There's just too many Valkyries. Hogs are in with the heal under that Tesla farm at 9 o'clock. Has just enough to burst through this expo, which is absolutely beautiful. Just protecting the rest of the Valks here, protecting the rest of the kill squad. King is now free to walk all the way around this base and help with cleanup. Queen's going to stand in there working on that wall for just the perfect amount of time. Because here come these Hogs. He's going to reinforce with four more. Uh, yeah, right on that arch tower. Uh, doesn't have any more heals up, right? But there's only a couple cannons in Arch Tower to get through. As long as he doesn't hit any bad, bad springs, he is looking A-OK -okay because, boom, this Archer Queen is finally worked out that wall. Is about to step up and help things out. Finishes off that uh, air defense. Works on the Town Hall. Cannon is the last defense to go see you later base. Very sexy. It's tree for McGrady. Um, what else do I want to show here? Death Hopper. I didn't recognize this name, actually. Must be a newer member in Invicta. Um, but <laughs> brings a cold-blooded, or sorry, Shattered. My bad. Shattered Lalo. Um, and like I had just said, I love the old school attacks. The only difference being here would be the Zapquake. Um, so not really many spells for his kill squad, like no, um, uh, just the jump, no rage for them. And then not many spells for his balloons either, because he's got to use the zap quake. He's got two haste, so opts for those instead of the rages. Um, I think that's always a good call if you, because you're going to base it, unless you're using it for damage over expos or a Tesla farm. Um, two haste is probably a better choice. Uh, just because you can get your balloons in off the edge so quickly. And a lot of time, that travel time is what screws you in your Lalos. So you can see everything's gone to plan. Boom, defensive queen down. CC troops taken care of. Our air defense number one is down. And let's go in with these three Lava Hounds. Because remember, we used the Zap Quake to take down the first air defense. Or I should say the second air defense is down. Lava Hounds are in, tanking the crap out of this Tesla farm. They are going to go down quickly, but boom. See, that's what that haste is good for. You don't need rage to blow through those buildings. You just need the haste to throw things right on top of those Teslas, right on top of that Expo. Bam, 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 bam. Down, everything goes. See how quickly those hounds just got shredded over there. He should have went a little bit heavier, I think, on his balloons there, but maybe not. Um, would have had those Teslas eventually um, from that backside if he had just dropped a few more balloons. So I don't think he needed that many up on the air defense up here. Did need to drop a few up on there, um, but wasn't a big deal. See what I mean, though? The the balloons now are just slowly getting picked off one by one by one. If he had had a few more, like three, maybe four more balloons on that backside, all that would have been dead already. But he's got so much cleanup around the base that King is at full health. He's got a couple wizards in there. One Tesla does not stand a chance for the rest of this army. 
Everything's going down. Just got to get that queen in there. And you're looking good. Fast forward this. Getting there just in time. Tree in the bag for Death Hopper. Nice job, my friend. Uh, all right, so good work, Victor. I'm gonna call it here, though. It's a uh, lengthy recap as is. Uh, um, yeah, so nice to see this win. Um, you know, Renovata had a few struggles in there, but uh, it's gonna happen, right? Um, you know, uh, Christ, I, I just had a uh. A struggle in war myself. We matched up with unfortunately uh, exclusive world uh, in 2.0 and I had a terrible war and I don't know I just just kind of get down on wars like that but whatever it is what it is. Uh, all the rest of the 2.0 guys are just being studs and absolutely ripping it up so that is awesome to see. Uh, nice to see some green lines going again for us uh, especially in these arranged matchups especially with uh, such a dominant victory like this one. 11 stars guys like that is amazing so Awesome job with the base building. Awesome job with your attacks. Invicta, I love you. But that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.